But the beauty of the Constitution is that it set our nation on this path of self-determination, where we, the people, would be the ones to guide the future of this great nation, where we would come together and we would perfect our union over and over and over again, where ordinary Americans would have the power to rise up, demand more, seek justice, and leave a better place for their children and their grandchildren. It was from that Constitution that we derived our power. But it was actually from a conversation that happened on the cobblestone streets just shortly after that Constitution was signed that gave us our charge as Americans. After signing the Constitution, one of my predecessors as governor, Ben Franklin, and it's true, he was my predecessor. <laughs> Franklin walked out onto those cobblestone streets of Philadelphia. A woman walked over to him. Think about this for a moment. Women didn't have the right to vote at that moment in America, yet a woman walks over to Franklin, looks him in the eye and says, so what do we have here, a monarchy or a republic? Franklin looked her in the eye and said, a republic, if you can keep it. Those five words, if you can keep it, that's been our charge, Pennsylvanians. That's been our direction from our founding fathers to do this hard work, to build a more perfect union, to build a more tolerant and just and free society. So are you with me to continue this work? Pennsylvania, are you ready to fight for freedom? And are you ready to elect the 47th President of the United States, Madam President Kamala Harris? Then let's get to work, Pennsylvania. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.